Hello everyone, this is Bentley from Kent, Washington, and today we're going to start in the Chalatharina Fasciata Ungulum tank, aka the Chameleon Rainbow. And you should notice right away, um, there's more rainbows. And let me tell you a small story as to why we have these absolutely gorgeous Gary Lang Lake Atinjo Bosmani. There are three females and two males, courtesy of Bob Steenfot. So Steenfot Aquatics. Absolutely awesome rainbow keeper who is also here in the Washington area, uh, a little bit north of me. Bob is doing a lot of work in his fish room. This is the first night that they were here, so you can see they're not really moving a lot, a little stressed, but that's their color, stressed. They're that color when they're stressed out. That's how amazing these fish are. And then we'll we'll cut here and I'll keep explaining. So this is the next day. See them a little more active, but still not a lot, not as boisterous as you're used to with rainbows. And this is during feeding, so keep that in mind. Uh, Bob's doing a ton of work in his fish room. He's taken down a bunch of tanks and he kind of decided, you know, he doesn't want to do the work that's required to raise baby rainbows. He loves keeping his rainbows. He's a big, big rainbow fan, but he didn't want to go through the work of raising them. Uh, so Bob reached out to me, got in touch with me, and we've, we've talked several times before. And he's just like, hey, do you want to breed my Bosmani? And I was like, yeah, dude, I, I totally would love to do that. And he's like, you can just have the adults. And then once you get some fry, once you get them going, just give me a big batch of fry and I'll raise them up and they'll kind of replace my old fish. And I was totally on that deal. So that is the first project. I mentioned that I have some new projects coming up. Um, this is the first one. We're going to breed these Bosmani and we're going to get some absolutely amazing fish going. So that means we got a little bit of work to do in the fish room. I'm going to cut over. You're going to see the next day. So this is Tuesday evening that we're going to cut to. And this is during a similar feeding. And you can notice the drastic difference in behavior. The females and males are going all over the place. They're chasing food. They're not as shy with me standing right there. Just kind of that, that adjustment and de-stress period. They're doing great so far, which makes me really happy. But um, so I've got a bunch of basically fry rearing tanks that I have to set up. So you'll get to see those soon and I'll kind of pan around my fish room and show you what I plan to do in a sec. Um, one little announcement, I have to um, postpone the Randy Reed interview and that is because up until uh, I was heading out to the North Sound Aquarium Society, so the Northern Seattle Aquarium Society, um, I had kind of spaced that I'd made an agreement to meet Bob. I've been so busy that my brain just frazzled. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to that meeting. Then I'll go to Randy's place and we'll do the interview. And I show up and Bob's there and immediately I'm like, I forgot I'm taking a bunch of fish home. I don't have the time to sit and do a good full interview with Randy. So that will be coming up soon. We're going to do something over Skype. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about some really cool stuff with Randy. But here's the fish room. So you can see these top areas where I use for storage. So some spare tanks and all sorts of equipment, uh, you know, paint, acrylic paint that I use to paint some tanks. I'm going to fill these in with a bunch of tens and then uh, another larger air pump that's going to fuel kind of that side of the room that we're looking here. You can see like the Leopold eyes and the Shelleys. Um, I keep the Shelleys light stays off a lot. They get a lot of ambient light. And uh, <laughs> then you can see there's where the Bozmani are. So it's all going to be contained in the same room. Uh, and then as I get some of that stuff set up, I'll give you some extra videos. Now, finally, we'll kind of cruise around. You get to look and give you some, you get to see some progress on how the rainbow fry are growing up. These are all the Gary Lang rainbows uh, and then some rainbows from Lucas as well. You can see just great sizes coming in, color starting to come in, which you can't really see on camera yet, but to the naked eye you can, and it's, it's really, really exciting. So the other project that I told you guys is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna give you a little, a little preview of some plants that Jimmy, so Swiski, Jimmy of Aquarium Co-op, him, him and his, his magical camera ways, and Joel, aka Corvus Oskin, gave me a bunch of Dennerlay tissue cultures. And these are gonna be some of the starts for that next project. Just gonna give you a sneak peek. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and stay awesome.